Jason Sharp. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at the SAM, and I guess I've got a particular interest lately in uh, structural heart disease as well. Um, in other words, treating patients with uh, valve problems and also holes in the heart and things like that through through techniques, uh, keyhole techniques, rather than with open heart surgery. So heart disease is still a very common problem and a very important problem in Australia. It's still the number one killer in Australia. Uh, things have improved significantly, but we're still in that situation. So there's certainly still room to improve and, uh, and that's, that's certainly being strived for. Um, one, in, uh, one patient dies every 27 minutes from heart disease in this country, uh, which is a little bit more often than you'd like to think. Um, but I think in public health, things have really improved. Smoking rates have, have dropped in the, in the last 20 years. I think attention to diet and exercise is becoming uh, better understood and people are more willing to undertake those sorts of lifestyle interventions to reduce their cardiac risk. But still, uh, it's a common problem and so we need units such as the SAN to be able to manage these patients. I think that the warning signs of a heart attack are, are somewhat difficult, which is frustrating because they vary from person to person. The typical symptoms would be a central heavy chest discomfort, usually a dull pain rather than a sharp pain. It's not necessarily severe. People imagine it's going to be very severe and the worst pain they've experienced.